BibleWorks offers a number of ways to search for words. You can double click on a word to search for a word in the form as it appears in the text. You can right click and choose search on lemma for a Greek or Hebrew word to search for any form of that word. Or you can use the use tab to instantly view how often that word appears in the particular book that you're studying. That is the particular book of the Bible. The Use tab works in the various languages that display in the browse window when you hold your mouse cursor over a word. It instantly searches for that word. And for Greek and Hebrew, it searches for all forms of that word. That is, it's conducting a lemma search in the background. If the command line at the top of the browse window is blank, you'll typically see that it says to enter search words or verse here. Let's take a look at how to do some basic word searches from the command line. The way that BibleWorks distinguishes between whether you want to move to a new verse or search for a word is by your entering a control character on the command line. The typical control characters are the period, the forward slash, and the single quote mark or apostrophe. As you can see, they're all found in this one area on your keyboard. When you use a period on the command line, that's the control character for an AND search. An AND search finds every verse containing the word or words that you type after the period. So if we set our search version to the NAS version, by clearing the command line, by hitting escape twice, you can type in NAS to set your search version to the New American Standard version. Now when you type a period and the word faith, notice that a drop-down list begins anticipating what you're typing and could be helpful for your spelling of various words you might want to search for. But once you've typed the period and the word that you wish to search for, just hit enter on the command line and it will search for that word in the current search version. Remember that the period finds every verse containing the word or words typed after the period. So if I enter period faith and also the word works, I'll find every verse that has both faith and works in that verse. Another common control character is the forward slash that's used for OR searches. An OR search will find any verse that contains one or more of the words that's typed after the forward slash. So if I use the forward slash and type faith and the word works and hit enter, it finds both verses that have the word works and faith, but not necessarily appearing in the same verse. And then the last control character is the single quote mark or apostrophe. That's used for a phrase search. A phrase search finds any verse with the phrase that you type in after the single quote mark. So if you wish to search for in the beginning, type in the single quote mark, the words in the beginning, and hit enter. It'll find all verses that have that specific phrase. Notice that it maintains the exact word order of the phrase. Sometimes when you're searching for a word, you may mistype the word that you're searching for and hit enter and you'll see this message that the word or form cannot be found in the current search version. When you click OK to close that message, the misspelled word that you just searched for has disappeared. If you typed out a long command line search, that's a lot to retype. An easy way to get back there what you previously typed on the command line is to use the up arrow on your keyboard. That'll bring back what you previously typed, and then you can fix it to prepare your search to run again.
Using the up arrow allows you to modify a previously executed search. It's a great way to fix mistakes or to modify a previously successful search to search for something else. In BibleWorks 10, you can hide the search window. And even though the search window is hidden, the command line is still active. You could even search for a word without displaying the command line. Just hit the escape key twice, then type in period and the word you wish to search for. Let's say we'll search for the word love. So I'll type L-O-V-E, hit enter, and now it's found the first verse in the NAS that has love. If I want to see all the verses that do have love in them, I'll bring back the search window, click this button right here, and there's the results of my search that I can go through. Also, if you have the search window hidden, you can display a pop-up command line by right-clicking up here at the top of the browse window in this gray area here, and notice the option there to open pop-up command line. Click on that, and a command line will open that floats above BibleWorks and can be moved around to the place you'd like to have it. For more help on how to use the command line, hold your mouse cursor over the command line and hit the F1 key. That opens up context-sensitive help for the command line, and that opens to a chapter that has many examples for the types of things that you can type on the command line for searches and other commands. This can be a great help in determining which searches you might wish to undertake to find the information you need to search for in the Bible.